Okay, I looked at this uh, house over in Nolansville on Nolan Park Circle 7052. And you've got a very small brick crack and a very small um, uh, foundation, uh, poured in place foundation wall crack. They're not in exactly the same location, so they're not talking to each other. There's nothing compromising about either one of them. They're more like a shrinkage crack, which occurs like, best way to think about that is in a sidewalk. A sidewalk four foot wide, 200 foot long with no joints, it's gonna crack every eight feet. Five foot wide, 200 foot long, it's gonna crack every 10 feet. The ratios are what we're looking at. That's why normally a, bro a, a block is 16 by 18 and a brick is four, foot, uh, four inches by eight inches, plywood's four foot by eight foot. These proportional conditions are, that, that, that create themselves. So when you've got this poured in place foundation wall with a footing that is sitting on the rock um, and it's upturned so that you can see the edge of the footing, you get a shrinkage crack and it's near a corner where you get energy condition, but there's no up and down movement, no in and out of plane movement, just a snap. So it would be called a shrinkage crack and the rebar that's inside that wall is there to resist any movements or any structural problems. So that's a natural shrinkage crack and it's nothing compromising whatsoever. The brick crack over here on the, on the left hand side near where the gas line comes in is very small, very faint, but it's there and it broke a couple of bricks, which does not mean that it's compromising at all to the foundation. It just means the mortar around those particular bricks are stronger than that brick itself. So the stair step cracking didn't stay in the mortar joint, it went through a brick. Nothing structural about that, other, just monitor it, but it's been here since 206 and there's not showing any up and down play, uh, playment and it's not showing enough in and out of plane where you're getting raveling on the brick. If it gets worse, it's, a, it's, it's an aesthetic condition that you can caulk, uh, but at this point I would just watch it and monitor it, but it's uh, certainly not structural compromising. There's no drywall cracking inside that relates to it. So if you have any questions, give me a call. Awesome. Thanks, Dad.